I don't care how hot it is in LA, we started fall in September, okay? So today's video is gonna be about all the fall movies and shows that I personally love. So without further ado, let's jump into fall movies that I personally will be watching, have watched already, or will recommend for you to watch. And I just wanna clarify, I'm not really into horror and scary movies anymore. I'm just not. We're gonna be doing more like, you know, some romance, cute, some even like cartoon movies, PG friendly, okay? We like to keep it light. I don't want to have nightmares. Okay, first on the list is the one, the only, Halloween Town. Halloween Town is such a classic. I mean, I feel like everyone has seen this already and I don't really need to explain it too much, but if you haven't seen it... This is Halloween Town, just like the book. It's a goodie, it's lighthearted, it has a really cute story to it. Mostly just a theme about this young girl who's a witch and she's discovering her new witch powers and her grandma is kind of like guiding her through her her witch process and teaching her a lot of things. It's, it's a really cute, fun movie to watch. Next up is Hocus Pocus. Now there's the original Hocus Pocus that came out like in the 90s, I believe. And then there's the newer one that came out more recently. I think it was like two years ago. Oh well. Younger. But it's a stun! <laughs> but I shall be a sprig forever! I will definitely recommend watching the original classic first and then maybe watching the newer one because I don't know, I just feel like it has more history and richness in the original. So then when you watch the newer one, it just kind of like makes more sense. One movie that I watched for the first time, which is an old movie, it's Bewitched. I love this movie, it is so cute. It's a Halloween themed romance basically. And I just, I love that Nicole Kidman is in this movie and um, I forget his name. He is a, a popular actor as well, he's funny. The actors are just great. I, I love the theme, it's really unique. It's like a witch who gets casted to play a witch in a movie but they don't know she's actually a witch. It's Bewitched, the TV show, we're redoing it. I don't care that you're a witch. You don't care? And it's just like this really fun, cute story. And then there's The Witches, which I'm so sad because I can't seem to find this on any of the streaming platforms right now, but it is such a good movie. It's also kind of a throwback, but it is really, really good. It's got a little humor to it in a way. It's a little boy who gets casted the spell by a witch and he basically like turns into a mouse. Hello. Little boy, come on in then. Kind of funny, really great watch. Casper, I mean, who doesn't love Casper? If you haven't seen this classic, definitely recommend. It's a live action film. They have this animated ghost, which is Casper. And it brings back childhood memories for me actually because I watched this movie a lot when I was a kid. It's kind of like about a, a girl and her dad who move into this new home and there's this friendly ghost who she ends up meeting. Now for the animated type Halloween movies that I really love. I'm gonna start off with Coraline because I just watched this and I've been wanting to watch it for the longest time and I finally got to watch it and it is so good. It did not disappoint. Mom, what are you doing here in the middle of the night? You're just in time for supper, dear. It's a really cute story about just like appreciating what you have. I know that sounds really deep for an animation, but it is, it's so cute. It's on HBO Max. I'm pretty sure, I think you can watch it on another streaming platform, but just the cutest animation. And it has all the spooky touches to it with the Halloween theme. So really love this one. Kind of lighthearted, but it has its dark moments. Another one that I actually kind of forgot about until I was doing this list, Kiki's Delivery Service. It's a cartoon, it's super cute. I think it's a Japanese film originally. She's basically a witch and she, it's like a friendly witch though. She's flying on her broom around town with this cat and she's doing good things, 
good deeds. So it's kind of like a friendly approach to a, a witch. Then there's Corpse Bride. I think this one's by Tim Burton and he was the one who made a lot of like other popular Halloween themed films and shows. So it's got that dark twist to it. And then last but not least, of course, there's Nightmare Before Christmas. I love this one. It's kind of like a great way to end the fall season as Halloween is coming to an end. And it's like right before Christmas, technically, because that's the theme of the movie. It's just, it's kind of got like that spooky touch too. Very similar to Corpse Bride for me. I think this one's really fun too, because if you go to Disneyland, you know that the Haunted Mansion becomes the Nightmare Before Christmas theme every year during this time of the year. It's really fun to be able to connect the dots with the way that they decorate the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland and it just kind of like goes hand in hand. You can for sure watch this on Disney Plus. If you're someone who likes to sit and watch a full-on series and you want to have that sort of Halloween vibe, not necessarily like straight up Halloween, but it has like that you know, eerie kind of like fall cozy type of feel to it. I mean, of course you got to watch PLL, Pretty Little Liars. I, I remember I was late to the party for PLL. Like I didn't watch this when everyone else watched it. I actually just watched it during the pandemic. It was a show that me and Delo binge watched because it was like the longest series ever and we just had nothing else to do. But there's that spooky vibe to it because it's a bunch of girls and one of the girls who dies early in the show, they're trying to solve this mystery together. What is going on with you and Alex? Is he back from that tournament? Yeah. He's back. And? And it's good. There's this secret person who basically just like are watching over every move that they make, every lie that they tell, and is like making sure that they know that they're being caught up. It's like this unfolding mystery drama basically, and it just gets juicier and juicier. If you're a fall girl who loves like a mysterious series, then you will love this. Okay, I had to mention Harry Potter because even though I only watched the first few movies. I just feel like it's it's the perfect time to watch the series, Hogwarts School and like the superpowers and the spells, wizards. Wow. Very fitting and appropriate for Halloween. And last but not least, of course, we have to talk about Wednesday. I mean, the Adams Family is something too that I, I forgot to mention in the movies. They have different versions of the Adams Family, which is, is so perfect for fall slash Halloween. Seeing you in this uniform brings back so many terrible memories, doesn't it, Tish? Yes. Wednesday is one of my favorite newer remakes. All right, guys, those are my personal favorite fall movies, shows. I hope that this was helpful. If so, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you haven't because what are you doing if you haven't subscribed? If you made it to the end of the video, feel free to drop a comment and say fall vibes so I know that you guys watched it all the way through. All right, guys, thank you. See you in the next video. Bye. Cut.